Welcome back to my channel. I am your favorite mother of three bougie vintage and today's video is the various eras of makeup that I have entered, most of which I failed miserably at. So I'm going to take you guys from the very beginning <laughs> to now on how I have done my makeup over the years and I hope you guys like this video because yeah, <laughs> it's about to be a whole mess. So growing up, I obviously grew up in the church. We weren't even allowed to wear nail polish, child, okay? So if it wasn't clear, okay? It couldn't even be a little bit of pink in there on the toes. We weren't allowed to wear nail polish. So as you can imagine, I wasn't really allowed to wear makeup. However, when I finally was allowed to wear makeup, the first thing I did was buy a lipstick. I was definitely big on lipstick. So the first look I'm going to be doing for you today is my very first era of makeup. And there wasn't much to it. Just a lip. <laughs> Just a lip. No foundation. No concealer chow. No highlight. No blush. Girl, just a lip. I don't know who told me this was ever okay. Whoever told me this was okay. Your mom's a hoe. <laughs> Obviously nobody told me that this was okay. Oh, hi, Noli. Miss Nola just woke up. My hair is a mess, anyway. Of course, one of my very first lipsticks when I went to MAC was St. Germain and Morange. I was obviously a moron, thinking that I could just leave the house with just pink lipstick on. <laughs> and not just any pink either, chow. St. Germain, okay? This is not a lip brush, but oh my god. Girl, ooh, uh, honey, first of all, I need a lip scrub. <laughs> play with her if you want to <laughs> one thing about it i was gonna look like tyrone biggums one thing about it and so this is the first era of makeup just a lip now naturally things definitely progressed but not for the better things definitely got worse so the second era i'm going to take you to we're gonna lose the lip and we're gonna take you to high school chair I didn't know anything about anything. Don't know nothing about foundation or anything of this sort. We're gonna go to Eyelinerville, okay? <laughs> we are gonna go to Eyelinerville. Now, I used to have this green eyeliner that I got from my mom. I think I was 15. And I asked, my, I started wearing it and I asked my mom, hey mom, when, how old were you when you started wearing makeup? And she was um, around the same age as me, 15, 16. So what I used to do, this is not the right green. It used to be a very, light green like a almost a lime colored green and it was really shimmery so we're gonna try to recreate it green is great for uh bringing up brown eyes ow jesus as well as purple and i would just do this i would use green or blue by the way but one of the two sometimes white and if i was feeling you know a little frisky <laughs> i would put it up here too because why not? Oh my god, there's St. Germain on my face. Chow. Even my body is rejecting the look. <laughs> my eyes watering like, no ma'am. <laughs> no ma'am, we don't want this. Bring us our mom back, please. So this look would not be complete without the shimmer. I'm gonna take our green shimmer. Now that is the look, honey. I, don't, I really don't know who told me this was okay, but... Your girl was experimenting, honey. And the girls were jealous. <laughs> now you know, if you're in high school, a look is not complete without some poppin' sticky gloss from the hair store. So this is the second look. <laughs> and she's not giving much of anything. She's giving heartbreak. Now, there was a time in my life where I lost too much eyebrow. So as you can imagine, I decided to fill them in. But I didn't fill them in. <laughs> this is embarrassing, like honestly. I didn't fill them in with an eye pencil. You know, I didn't go into my mom's makeup thing and get an eye pencil like a normal human being. I was using a whole dry erase marker. So let me go get one. Ciao, boo. <laughs> well, unfortunately, I can't find a dry erase. So we're just gonna fill it in with a pencil. This takes absolutely no skill to do. And I remember my church friends and my sister making fun of me, saying they were gonna go like this and wipe my dry erase <laughs> eyebrows off. Them's ain't my friends, okay? <laughs> 
but this look is obviously not complete without a bit of mascara because she was the winner winner chicken dinner throughout the life did i even put bottom mascara on probably and this honey was the look of the millennium <laughs> I can't believe I was leaving my house like this. Like, this is crazy. I don't care if I was in damn grade five, grade six or grade 10. This is not acceptable. Unacceptable! Because I am a Taurus. I mean, my style is forever evolving and changing and unique. <laughs> so this era lasted quite a while, but it is nothing on the next era. So I'm going to remove this, thankfully, before it dries and I can't take it off. <laughs> The next era is a very sad era and we're still in high school so this next era is a scary era just a warning <laughs> i don't want anybody to freak out when they see me but this next era one thing about me i always had my eyebrows done so I, there was really no need to fill them in once i was in high school i didn't fill my eyebrows in and that wasn't really a thing either but one day i decided that i wanted to wear foundation i wanted a nice smooth even skin tone because a lot of the time in my spare time at home i would put on my mom's makeup and do photo shoots and post them on facebook <laughs> oh my god thank god i deleted my facebook but i deleted a lot of memories with it and i regretted it later so don't delete your facebook anyway this is the powder era when i say powder i mean powder that had us all in bondage at mac nc45 i tried to find my nc45 but there is nowhere to be found so we're gonna use a good old uh, pro filter powder this is 410 so it's not gonna give the same effect that the other powder gave but i'm gonna try to put on as much as i used to put on that's for sure back in the day we didn't know that powder was used to set things okay <laughs> i didn't know that powder was used to set anything I thought you just put this on because that's what I saw my mom doing. My mom's not a makeup maven. Secondly, I only did my face. I didn't bring it down and do the other parts that you're supposed to do, like your neck. <laughs> so NC45, child, at least it was winter time. And I remember that because the makeup was all over my coat. And I had a gray long TNO, TNA coat. I could literally do a story time behind that coat. <laughs> But um, I had a long gray TNA coat. Okay, something's happening here that I do not understand. Is it going on or like why am I Patch Adams right now? <laughs> I think I need to switch to a brush. By the time I'm done my makeup, there will be no powder left. One thing about it, I'm going to be covered, okay? <laughs> Flaws wear. Skin wear. It does not want to stay on my nose. What is going on with this powder? And I remember when I wore this to school the first time. <laughs> And the guy that I was talking to you guys about in my Google video, the last guy that was the honorable mention, I remember him <laughs> when he saw me with the makeup on. <laughs> this man damn near jumped out of his skin. He's like, whoa. <laughs> like, uh, I believe he called me a ghost. <laughs> oh, he told me to take it easy on the makeup. You know I was offended, honey. I can't get over... God, I look scary. <laughs> I cannot get over what's happening on my nose here. It didn't look this bad, I hope. But the makeup doesn't want to set onto my nose. Like, I look like the Crypt Keeper. <laughs> this is not okay. But it was an era nonetheless. I don't think my MAC powder would do this to me. This is straight up betrayal. Of course, with this era, we couldn't go without our mascara. So I ditched the green, but <laughs> I should have kept the green and not have done this. And I even remember what mascara I was using at the time. I was using the Colossal mascara that's in the yellow and purple packaging. I remember recommending it to my friends at school. Oh my god. Life was rough. I can't, I rode the bus like this? It's giving homeless. It's giving, I just robbed the Dollarama <laughs> for the makeup. And I have a job interview to go to. Girl, I'm literally, my allergies are popping out right now. <laughs> what is this? Why was this ever okay? No highlight, no contour, no liquid foundation, no concealer, just powder. <laughs> she said, just powder and go, you know? I'm in a hurry, I'm in a rush, I got places to be, people to see. <laughs> class to go to and imagine this getting worse how we cannot forget our i don't even want to wear this lip gloss right now of course we have 
to put on our lip gloss with this look. And what else is missing from this look? Oh, and then let's talk about it getting a bit worse. So we're gonna have to put on some blush. Now, I love a good blush moment. You know, I have nothing against blush. Matter of fact, I still love blush, but my first blush was my mom's blush. And my mom had a blush from Fashion Fair. As you can imagine, it was pigmented as hell. I thought the more blush, the better. <laughs> the more blush, the better. So I'm gonna find the pinkest blush. I could possibly find. Only hers was more rouge. It had more red to it. Pack it on like a clown. I don't even think I'll be able to achieve the right look. <laughs> oh, nope, it's coming along. I don't know in what world this is okay, but it was okay in my world. <laughs> and I made sure I smiled big to get the blush right on the apples of the cheeks. Now, pair this look with a set of braces. <laughs> that are stained from curry <laughs> and it's a whole entire look I kid you not this was me <laughs> this was me and I'm proud to say I've come a very long way but this was the look I was serving in high school is she a mood girl <sighs> you know after my kind of boyfriend dissed me with the <laughs> foundation thing I realized okay I gotta go back to the drawing board so we're gonna enter into the next era which is good old I discovered liquid foundation but that's all I discovered okay <laughs> let's head into our next era this is gonna be hell to take off you okay over there Miss Noli I don't even want to know to see me like this she'd be like you ain't my mama by the end of this uh, video I'm not even gonna be able to do anything else because my skin is gonna be so sore okay so this next era is actually shortly after high school and it is the liquid foundation era my name is Bo and I just discovered liquid foundation now I was using at that time the original fit me by Maybelline but I don't have the right shade so I'm gonna break out my trusty Mac <laughs> full coverage foundation no concealer and please keep in mind when I was applying my foundations back then I didn't have a makeup brush baby hands <laughs> hands I was going to garage looking a damn mess see this is the era that started it all <laughs> this is the era that I discovered through associates through some acquaintanceships that you cannot just wear liquid foundation but I wouldn't discover that for a while I'm going about my day wearing my liquid foundation and by the end of the day my foundation would just be like drooling off my face <laughs> and I just couldn't wrap my head around it and then I met this girl and she's like you have to set your liquid with a powder and that's how we enter into the next era where I was setting my face <laughs> but before that we must enter our Amy Winehouse era honey this was my signature look baby you couldn't tell me nothing okay mama always had her liquid liner one long <laughs> if it wasn't touching my eyebrows I didn't want it you see me you see her you see her you see me okay that was me and the liquid liner baby <laughs> me and liquid liner were BFFs honey tell your boyfriend next time he around to buy his own weed and don't wear my stuff down I wouldn't care if red would give me some more I'd rather him leave you than leave him my drove. You got to call the green man. So I can get mine and you get yours. I discovered lashes at this time, but it was pointless because it's not like they are now. Like lashes now you add to the look, honey. No, the lashes I had were so cheap. And might I add crusty so just a little mascara will do for this look and then we enter into the era of <laughs> Ruby Woo now Ruby Woo was always super dry so I actually used to apply like a primer to my lip that was also by Mac cuz at this time I was not introduced to Sephora you know who bought me my first Sephora product it was Valentine's Day and shooter went to Sephora and he bought me a YSL lipstick and he bought me two lipsticks 
from MAC. Other than that girl, I was so dedicated to MAC, I didn't step foot in Sephora, okay? <laughs> Ruby Woo had us in bondage. Same as NC45. Now shame on me for not wearing lip liner. Shame, shame, shame. And of course, at this stage, we're still using a little bit of black to fill our brows in. Don't do this at home. Now we're a little bit better with filling them in, but they're black, so I mean. <laughs> and we're still using a pencil. We have no idea what a spoolie is. This is definitely one of my worst eras. <laughs> Jesus. I think my mom was praying for me a lot during this era, and thank God for those prayers. <laughs> Because what is this? But could the girls talk to me? Could the girls talk to me? They couldn't say anything to me, honey, because I was serving up looks, okay? If you came to see me at garage in this era, <laughs> well, this is my first YouTube era as well, the YouTube channel that will never see the light of day. <laughs> this is my other YouTube channel, okay? This is before, before. Let's just say that. After this era, I had a friend that told me about concealer. We're gonna have to skip past that era, the first era, because it didn't last very long. She told me about highlighting and contouring. She told me where to put everything. However, I thought concealer only came in green. <laughs> so when I did it the first time, it was with green concealer, but we're just gonna skip past that, okay? because um, I don't even own green concealer. So <laughs> we're gonna skip past the green concealer era. So I'm about to introduce us to the highlighting and contouring era, just using all the wrong shades. <laughs> all right, so now we can take you guys <laughs> to the first era of full face makeup. This was a bit of a struggle, I'm not gonna lie, because even though I was new at it, I wasn't acting like I was new at it, I thought I knew something, child, when I really didn't. So we're entering into an era where there's no primer. <laughs> what is primer? <laughs> Don't even know her. We're entering into an era where under the eye brightness is our number one goal, but we're not color correcting. We're entering into the era where I was definitely a cake face. So we're gonna break out our full coverage foundation once again. Not exactly going to be a matching foundation, but you know, <laughs> is what it is. And we're gonna apply her generously. We are going for a full coverage look because I didn't know anything but full coverage, honey. I was definitely queen of the full face of cake. This is definitely my Time the Infamous era. This is sh this is like around the time when I was watching Time the Infamous and I only watched Time the Infamous. I never even knew any other beauty guru. She was like a freaking celebrity to me <laughs> in this era. So I learned a lot from her, but I was definitely faking the funk. I mean, hey, fake it till you make it, right? <laughs> This was also the era of I'm just discovering a makeup sponge, but I have no idea what the beauty blender is. And since I have no idea what the beauty blender is, I'm using a very tough sponge <laughs> to try to get this blend right, honey. And it was as good as it was going to get. But this was a fun era because this is when I was discovering who I wanted to be as a makeup person. This is the era of NC42 concealer by Miss Mac, honey. Hi. Lighting 101. Now, as it stands, the Pro Longwear Concealer by MAC is still one of the greatest concealers of all times. Don't argue with me, argue with your mammy, okay? But baby, what was I doing with this color concealer? What, this is for the Caucasians. This is for people from the Caucasus Mountains. I had no business with this concealer, but Mama had to be highlighted. Girl, the highlight was real <laughs> in this era. Call me big, honey. Call me big. And I needed a lot of it because, like I said, I had no orange concealer underneath this. And I always make sure I got it there. I was definitely painting for the back row up in here. And I'm cheating right now because I definitely never <laughs> did that blend with the brush. It was all harsh lines. Because if under your eyes were not beaming white <laughs> what were you doing with life what were you doing and this is this is when i thought i was like nobody could test my makeup like i was <laughs> 
top shot oh my god i cannot believe and it's so crazy because i would see people with makeup and i would be like oh my god their makeup is so bad but this is how i was looking <laughs> now i mean if you was looking worse than this <laughs> i guess my thoughts were right but like were they really looking worse than i was were they i don't know <laughs> At this point, I don't know. I also feel like things were acceptable for the time. Don't know why this was ever acceptable. It should have been illegal in 93 countries, okay? <laughs> Not only was my highlight too damn bright, the contour baby. <laughs> and it's crazy because this is the era where people started to come to me for makeup advice and I thought I should be giving it out. <laughs> God, like what what this is the era that started the YouTube channel to be quite honest the audacity of this era no seriously so during this time I realized that NC 45 was not my shade but that I could use it to set these highlighted areas also around the time I discovered mineralized skin finish by Mac we're gonna set our face with this and it was all about the pat pat honey she doesn't look too bad. <laughs> but that, my friends, is all about to change because this is when I didn't realize my contour was too dark so it was giving mud. So I'm going to take my Fenty bronzer. At the time I was using something that was next to like black to contour. I don't have anything like that here, thank God. <laughs> so we're gonna use the darkest blush I can find. At this point, send me to RuPaul's Drag Race because Clearly, that was the end goal. And there was no, this is right before Anastasia Beverly Hills dropped their contour palettes, which I purchased and returned. Never got into them, didn't like them. I found my own thing that I wanted to do. We were gonna contour that forehead. This is when Kim Kardashian was getting all the credit for the look, honey. <laughs> I know there's gonna be comments saying that this look is giving <laughs> but the question is what is it giving and of course our nose had to be snatched and contouring never stopped there after I contoured with the darkest possible thing I could find I would break out my mineralized skin finish in dark deep and give it to go because I needed bronzer too you couldn't just have contour you needed to bronze Obviously, it's hard to like revert back to having no skills. <laughs> so this actually looks better than it's supposed to look, in my opinion. It looks way better than it's supposed to look, but I'm trying to make it bad. MAC products kind of like do this thing where they can have you looking flawless on camera when really in life you look a hot damn mess. And of course, this is the era where I wasn't going nowhere without my brows felt honey okay we'll get back to blush in a minute i used to use dip down by mac for my eyebrows so we're gonna do dip product i was fine until one day i discovered some girl on the internet i wish i could find this video <laughs> but she said to have just one finger distance between your brows i don't know why i was going with this i couldn't see that there was it was flawed honey so i was taking my brows to church I should have been taking them to church maybe they could have saved me <laughs> maybe they could have saved me from this era girl but we lived for a painted brow the audacity of that lady to get on the internet and think that she could tell people <laughs> to have one finger distance between their eyebrows but you know what I can't be mad at her I'm mad at my friends okay that's who I'm mad at but they didn't know any better either, so <laughs> I can't be mad at them either. Uh, there's nobody to be mad at but myself, okay? Oh my god. No. This is not even right. Like, in person. <laughs> oh my god. I just went to look in my vanity mirror. Girl. Girl. We need highlight, and a lot of it. So I'm gonna take the infamous Soft and Gentle by MAC. It was between this or Gold Deposit, girl. This or Gold Deposit. Once again, MAC products had a, had all the girls in bondage. They told us we need to highlight. 
I have to break out my MAC blush. Little raisin blush. <laughs> I was giving the girls a run for their money. <laughs> Clearly, that's what I was doing. And this look would not be complete without some eyelashes. And there was an era where purple lipstick was mandatory. You know what I don't like? I don't like that the younger girls, <laughs> the new generation of girls that are into makeup, they got to skip past go, okay? They got to skip past all this stuff and they're just gonna be at the last era where we're like flawless, okay? Where there are no mistakes because they had YouTube. We didn't have that, okay? <laughs> We didn't get that. We didn't get that luxury. And that's why I'm really mad. And what I'm even more upset at is how long this era lasted while I'm waiting for my lash glue to dry. Line, at this point I was using Cork by MAC, but I'm using Pat McGrath today. And because purple lips had us in bondage, we have to just do some honorable mentions here. Heroin by MAC, bondage. <laughs> If you had a little bit of money when MAC drops happened, you probably still have. Punk Couture was probably one of my most favorite purples ever. That dark purple era was something surreal. But you were not one of the girls, okay, if you didn't have this right here. And based on the red color, you probably know what this is. This is one of the best colors to ever do it, honey. This is Viva Glam Nikki 2. And Viva Glam Nikki 1 and Viva Glam Nikki 2 are both colors or two colors that were so different and so well thought out and perfect. I will never get rid of this. I will dig this out, okay? <laughs> this is a classic and they need to re-release it. How about that? And if you really wanted to set this lip off, you would do a dark on the outside with this in the center. Girl, that was a whole era in itself. One of the reasons that... Um, I stopped really messing with purple lipstick is because I hate how yellow it makes my teeth look. But this color is a mood. This is the time when if you had one pair of mink lashes, you would wear them until the wheels literally fell off. I remember mink lashes at the time were advertised up to 25 wears, but every single time I went to take the glue off of my lashes, I would break them. The lash hairs would fall out. It was a problem. Check. Do you think you could buy me a bottle of rock <laughs> Yo, this, this, no, I cannot. The camera's lying to you, because it's lying to me. I'm looking in the viewfinder, I'm like, oh, she cute. When I go over to that mirror, girl, when I look into this mirror, I'm offended for you. <laughs> I'm offended for me, but I'm offended for you that you even have to witness this. What era is this? <laughs> Ooh, girl, I wish it could end there. I wish it could end here, but it doesn't. We're gonna add to this. So now we're about to enter into the era where I'm thinking I'm popping. So I think I can play in somebody's eyeshadow palette. <laughs> Please keep in mind that during this era, I'm pretty much about to be on YouTube or have already started YouTube. I can't believe y'all let me get away with this. I mean, I thank you <laughs> because why was I allowed to get away with this? And then I got on the good people's internet and thought I was allowed to give tutorials. Y'all let me, y'all really let me give you guys tips and tricks on the makeup? <laughs> Looking like this? Girl. This is when we enter into the elevated signature look from childhood. Is this video still up? I don't even know. This is like one of my first YouTube videos. We're gonna give a little bit of green under the eye. And she's really giving a look. But my signature look actually does not include Nikki 2. It includes Snob by MAC. Oh my God, this lipstick smells old. You know when you like go into your mom's makeup bag and she has an old lipstick in there? This one genuinely smells like it's from 1993. It's still a uh, moment. And this was my signature look. The worst part about this is I was spraying Fix Plus all over my face trying to preserve this look for <laughs> an eternity. This look did not need to be preserved, okay? It really didn't. We needed to not put the embalming fluid on this because honey, <laughs> or should I say mummy? <laughs> like what? This was my signature look, wow. And again, if I was feeling frisky, we would, we would put some wing liner with this look, honey. Now my lash is coming up. 
pretty standard for 2014. A lifting eyelash. They not even the same, girl. Typical. <laughs> Look into my eyes. Tell me what you see. A fool! <laughs> a fool! That's what you see. <laughs> wow. Put on some nothing was the same. And I mean, we're back in 2014, girl. <sighs> okay. So as we know, makeup is something that with practice, it makes perfect, kind of, sort of. It's forever changing, forever evolving, and the more you practice it, the better you get sometimes, in most cases. And so the next era we're going to enter into is the era where I still didn't know what the hell I was doing. <laughs> this era is when I thought I could get on the internet and give the girls a look. We are just gonna add to this look by slapping some bright blue eyeshadow, which I do not wear often. And during this time, my eyeshadow palette slowly but surely started filling up. My sister at the time had just got her Mac discount card. So you know me, girl. I was using that discount. <laughs> Because I needed it. I needed to fill up my palette. So I used her discount to do it. And we're going to apply Shroom right in here. Because the inner corner highlight was definitely an era. Not just for me, but for literally everybody on YouTube. <laughs> if your inner corner wasn't highlighted, they were throwing you under the jail, honey. Probably had a thousand subscribers. Thought I was... Freaking Jackie Ina. <laughs> I thought I was somebody child. I didn't even know who Jackie was at that point. I had, I didn't know who Jackie was until 2000 and probably 17. This was happening in like 2014, 2015. This was the opportunity to cancel me and you guys didn't take it. <laughs> oh my god. Thankfully, I definitely evolved from this. So <laughs> this was pretty much the end of the bad era. I was definitely coming into myself as a MUA and um, practicing more and slowly but surely I figured it out. So now I'm going to enter into the era where I do my makeup for real. Because this, this ain't it at all i mean there's areas in between this and the best where i figured out the brow situation where i figured out my colors because <laughs> these aren't it <laughs> um but this was pretty much the tail end of really bad makeup for me now i know i said that we're at the era where i definitely know how to do my makeup now um but there was a something that I totally forgot about, which, I mean, I don't know how I could forget about her because she definitely, she definitely made an impact in the makeup community. And so I'm not going to leave her out of this tutorial. As you can see, I'm officially in a guru makeup space. So I've already applied my um, eyebrows applied my eyebrows I said that's so weird so we're gonna keep the eye look simple but we're still gonna do an eye look and you know you've arrived when you're using primer okay because I definitely did not used to use primer for my eyes or my face now because I've arrived <laughs> we're also gonna color correct because I never knew what I needed until I discovered orange concealer I never knew my life was missing orange concealer. This definitely takes your look from, and we are heading into like the grunge era because who doesn't want to look like they have a black eye? <laughs> but like, I'm trying to like elevate it so that it's more modern. And I mean, after I took you guys through about 10 years plus of makeup, I really don't feel like doing my makeup right now. So that's why I'm giving you this look. Now the cool thing about doing an eye look like this is I can turn this into, I can turn this look into 
a like super pretty intricate look in five seconds by simply cutting my crease putting a little glitter in the crease like this look is completely transformable but we're going for everyday baby we're going for minimal effort we're going for i'm a mom and i ain't got time okay <laughs> that's what we're going for that's also a myth when you're a mom don't think that you don't have time to do certain things it's not true i actually haven't been to full coverage zone in like a long time i usually like a medium coverage at this point in my life we're going all the way or we're going home right something is like stuck on this brush and it's scratching my face and it's not okay and since mac pro Longwear concealer is the one and not the two we are going to use a color that actually goes <laughs> and this is nc45 and we are about to get our highlight high right pro Longwear concealer you actually can't do the trick where you sit and let your concealer dry for a few minutes because it'll just be stuck in the position that it is it don't move okay so you want to work quickly when you're using a mac pro longwear concealer i remember when i broke up with mac i remember when i started to really like venture out and like shop at sephora and try new products other than mac because i was definitely a mac girl i might as well have had a job there this was the first concealer that i was able to conceal under my eyes and not put on something to hide my creases under there. Let's give Miss Pro Longwear her flowers while she can still smell them because I don't know if that's gonna be for much longer. So of course I have to break out my cream contour. This this is not, <laughs> it's really not the time to be tested out stuff. I also am not doing that full entire thing that they were doing on TikTok. Like the one with the grid, girl. Who has time? You gonna sit there and draw a whole entire Minecraft board on your face before you... Girl, no. It was always the blend for me, though. Now, earlier I had mentioned a product I forgot that has to be included in this video. The Ben Nye Setting Powder. The Banana Powder. The Yellow Powder. This baby was the setting powder to have. This was the setting powder of all setting powders. I have not used it in years. Um, this is all I have left from however long ago I bought this. <laughs> now we've elevated to Laura Mercier. And this is the honey powder. This is not the the normal um, translucent. Before we used to just put it on our, our sponge and put it on our face. Now we know to do this. <laughs> we know to blot that out onto the back of our hand because we don't need that much powder. I'm about to drive the stock up in the Pro Longwear Concealer. Cut me my check, Mac. Like, how long am I going to have to ask y'all to cut me my check for? I had the girls in Mac <laughs> for so long. All these other companies started emerging, and I needed to, to branch out. I was like, oh my gosh, there's so much stuff that they don't have that, you know, they're not on trend. I need to... I need to try these other companies and then I fell in love with other companies and I had to put Mac to the wayside but I really feel like the Pro Longwear Concealer is what everybody needs. This is the first concealer I got to wear to a pool, okay? I wore it to the pool and it didn't come off. This was the first concealer. And of course we take our blush I probably don't need to add any blush to this brush because <laughs> there's so much blush on it and of course one of my looks would not be complete without bringing my moles back out so we have this one that I always bring out I think if you watch some older videos once I covered them with concealer or foundation I did not bring them back out because I was definitely bullied a little bit when I was a kid about my mole hair and people used to call it a packy dot which is actually very offensive in today's day and age. I don't know if it was back then. Well it probably would have been to somebody that's Pakistani. So many people used to make fun of me for having that mole there but then one day I took a picture without makeup on and I sent it to my friend 
and she was just gassing me up <laughs> about how pretty <laughs> I am and I better never cover my mold ever again and I didn't and now they're like one of my signatures so I think that's pretty awesome but you really don't know how your words can affect people like literally when I was a kid and my moles would be showing I would be embarrassed because people were making fun of me all right we're gonna finish this look off I would probably wear Ashton by ABH I feel like when my lips are matte I don't look friendly <laughs> So we're going to give her a little, you know, gloss. And then we go from black hottie to friendly black hottie. And the look is complete. We live, we stand. My hair needs to be washed already, ridiculous. I went from bow to bougie, okay? <laughs> so this is the new and improved Oh, this is the new and improved way I do my makeup. This is the flawless way, baby. The other ways that I was doing my makeup, a whole mess, but you learn and you grow. And I hope this video was entertaining for you guys. It took all day to film, literally. I started filming at nine, it's probably four o'clock right now. But I did take a few breaks in between. I love you all so much, and I will definitely see you in the next one.